Ryan with Pile here. Today I'm going to go through some Pipcam Web UI browser access configuration. This is going to let you view your cameras from the web browser anywhere. So you are able to use many different types of browsers to view the cameras, but to get the most functionality out of them, we recommend that you do it through Internet Explorer. To use in Internet Explorer, we're actually going to want to install this ActiveX plugin that comes with the software. So if you don't already have the software downloaded, just take a look at the link down below and you can get the software package for your camera. So just navigate to the software download and install the ActiveX plugin from the folder here. So the next step, we're going to want to install the IP camera tool from the software package. And what this is going to let you do is view the IP address of your camera once it is already connected to the network that your computer is hooked up to. So if you haven't yet connected your camera to the network, take a look at the setup tutorial also in the link down below. So after installing the tool, you can double click the IP address and what it'll do is bring up the camera login in your default browser. So type in the login admin and by default it'll be pilecam or admin for the password. And once you click OK, you'll be able to view the camera as well as all the options for it in the web UI. So that's fine and dandy for viewing the camera on your local area network. But if you want to access your camera remotely, what we'll have to do is set up DDNS and port forwarding. So to configure that, we're going to actually have to access the settings in your router. And you can log into the router by either typing in the address on the bottom of your router if it's listed, or just searching for what's my IP address on Google and then typing that into the search bar. So here you can log into the router with your username and password. And then what we can do is we can use the IP camera tool to change the port of the camera. So just right click the IP address of your camera, click on network configuration. And here we're going to change the HTTP port and you can pick any value except for 80. So I'm just going to switch mine to 82 here. And just type in the camera password once again, admin or pile cam, depending on your version. So unfortunately, this next part's going to look a little bit different depending on what your router login looks like. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the forwarding section and add a new port for the IP address. So add that port value you just changed in the camera and also add the IP address of the camera into the options here so you can save it. So once you've saved that, now you can log into the web UI using the port at the end of the IP address. So now that we've changed the port and set the setting in your router, you can now use the DDNS web address given by default to log into the camera remotely. You can find that in the device status section here. So uh, just copy that and save it for your reference and now you will be able to log into the camera remotely at that address. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set camera recording right to the desktop from the web UI. So to do this, what you have to do is run Internet Explorer as an administrator. So right click Internet Explorer and click to run as the administrator. And you'll have to do this because otherwise you're going to get an error further down the line. Once you're running Internet Explorer, go to the IP address of the camera or the DDNS link that we set up previously and log in using the ActiveX mode. This is the only mode that's going to let you record. Once you do that, navigate to Other, and then Path. Here we're going to set the record path to the destination that you wish to on your Windows machine. So just click Path, so click, click Path, navigate to the folder you want, and click OK. And once again, as long as you're logged in as the administrator to Internet Explorer, you won't get this error. Once you've set the path setting, just go to Live Video and click on the camera icon to record. While recording, the camera icon will glow red. Click again to stop the recording. And then navigate through the file explorer to the location you set to view the recording. Now this is only going to work while the camera web UI is pulled up, so you will have to be running the web UI for the recording to work. So the last thing I'm going to show you today is how to set up multiple cameras under one web UI login. 
So what you're going to want to do, if you have both cameras already set up, you're going to want to set the second camera the same way we just set the first camera, so you can remotely access it using the uh, DDNS server. Once you do that, go to the multi-device settings and click to add the second device. And we're going to copy in the link for the DDNS server right for the host. Add the port you changed this camera to, which should definitely be different from the first camera. Lastly, add the username and password. Click Submit. And now you can see from the Live Video tab that both cameras do show up in the view. So I hope that clears up a lot of questions about some of the more advanced configurations available within the web UI. For any other questions, I've included a link to my general FAQ down below. Take a look.